fuck. You fucking serious? The fuck, man? Oh shit, I just had a chain fire. I just got shot. Oh fuck. You see this shit? It just hit me in the stomach. What the fuck? Chain fire? Really? Fuck, man. Okay, that's... I'm not putting that back in my holster. I'm going to lay that on the ground just in case it goes off. <laughs> Holy fuck. I think I just had like six cylinders fire. Dude, that has so much fucking recoil. Damn! Dude, this is powerful. What the heck? My, my brass frame is going to get stretched out, man. This is so much fun, though. Oh, son of a bitch, man. Man. Okay, so... They were wrong. Four-wing musket caps does not work on a capper revolver. Okay. I'm alive. I'm alive. But there's a red spot. Oh my god, man. I mean, it, it chain fires can't really kill you, but they can hurt. I don't know what happened. We're going to go take a look at the revolvers now to see what exactly happened. And, uh, man, that's a lot of black powder moving with the wind. Oh my lord. Scared the hell out of me for a second. Here's our loading bench. We're gonna take a look at the revolver that Shane fired. It's this one. Um, there's absolutely no damage to the gun, but I don't know which cylinder Shane fired. Uh, I I don't see any marks or anything. I don't know which one is the one that Shane fired. Oh my lord! Damn. My hands are shaking. Holy fuck, man. Thank God chain fires aren't lethal. Alright, I've calmed down now. Okay, so it wasn't a chain fire. It was a misfire. I... The cap went off. It didn't do anything. And I rotated the cylinder, and then that's when it fired. Luckily, it didn't fire when the barrel was obstructing it, because if it did, um, my gun would have went boom. But, uh... We're going to finish firing off the rest of this. I'm a little scared, but I got five bullets in this one. Oh, God help me. I ain't, I ain't rotating that cylinder for a minute. That felt like a chain fire. <coughs> Fucking black powder, man. God damn, I ain't a smoker. Okay, that that definitely was a chain fire, but at this point, who fucking cares, right? That felt like a chain fire as well, but that could also be... Oh, that, damn, the stand black powder, man. I can't fucking breathe. I need to put my gas mask on. Oh, my fucking hand, man. All right, uh, I guess I'll put it back in my holster. I'm kind of afraid of it, though. All right, we'll take the brasser, and it's only got one ball in it, so if it doesn't fire, nothing bad can happen. Holy fuck, that... Why is this thing so powerful? I thought I put less powder in this thing, not more. Damn. I'm going to explain why we're having problems. You see... Remington and CCI hates us cap and ball shooters, so we have to take these little 401, 301 musket caps and we have to cut the sides off. They don't fit right, so you basically got to hold the gun at a downward angle so they don't fall off. Um, this is the source of our problems. 
Uh, I'm gonna shoot some more. It's probably not a good idea, but what's the worst that can happen, you know? All right. Here we go. I don't think anything fired, although I've barely put any black powder in, so if it did fire, I'd never... Wait a second. Hold up. I think... Yeah, I was right. Look. Oh, shit. Thank you, Jesus. If I would have fired this gun again, it would have exploded. I didn't put enough black powder in it. I now have a bullet stuck in the barrel. That's called a squib. Okay, I can't fire this until I clear that obstruction. Thank God I caught that. Alright, so back in the house and it was I didn't get it on video, but both of the barrels are now obstructed with a bullet. This is going to be a pain to get out. I've already tried getting one out with a screwdriver. It wasn't working. It was probably messing up my rifling, though. Now for the worst part of owning black powder weapons. Clean it, son of a bitch. I don't really know what I'm going to do about these squibs. Maybe I can hook the gun up to a pressure washer or something. Although that would definitely destroy my rifling, so that is not an option. I cleared one of the squibs and my rifling is crisp clean. Okay, so it turns out that we had a one, two, three, four squibs, and that is a drill bit. We were trying to drill through it to get it out of the barrel. We had four squibs in the gun. It's all fine now, though. You can see all the way through it again. It's cleared, and I know not to put four or five grains of black powder in it ever again. But we have another problem. This cylinder, my uh, old nipple wrench, got stripped out. So, these, all these were left to stay on the cylinder. I cleaned the cylinder, but the threads still rusted after three months. Because I couldn't get the nipples off to clean them individually. So... I can't get a nip nipple back in here anymore. No matter how hard I try to screw, it just won't catch threads. And one of the other ones is barely hanging in there. So, and uh, you know, all the uh, safety notches are broken off the back of it too. So, it's about time I got a new cylinder. But you know, I'm sort of lucky to be alive. Well, still lucky to have a hand after you know I just noticed this. You know, black powder is dangerous.